Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki, and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like to thank God for enabling us all to be here. And I'd like to remind you guys one thing, that the fact that you woke up today, it's not automatic, it's not guaranteed. And that's why I say it's important to go back to God and tell him thank you. Each and every new day he gives you, because a new day is a blessing. Well, in last week's video, guys, we talked about respecting the process. You know, in life, my friends, each and everything we do has a process. And the difficult thing is that most of the times we want to jump the process. We want to get to the end destination as quick as possible. And so if you missed out on that video, don't hesitate. Check it out on my YouTube channel. And remember to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share that video with people who you believe will benefit from listening to it. Well, in today's video, I'd like us to talk about something else that I find also to be absolutely important in our lives. You know, there are things we need to realize that we must stop before they destroy us. There are things we are doing in our lives that will only destroy rather than build us. And so in today's video, I'd like us to talk about these three things. You know, the first most important thing is we must stop comparing ourselves with other people. You know, each and every day we live lives comparing ourselves with others, with our colleagues, with our neighbors, with our friends, with our family members, and just other people in society. You know, social media has not made it any easier because in social media, we get to post pictures, videos, or just things we are going through in life. But one thing I came to notice is that in social media, we only tend to post the good things. We only tend to post the bright side of life. And so when somebody else comes and looks at what is going through in someone's life, they tend to think that that is the absolute truth. And this tries and tends to bring a lot of competition in our lives today. People are comparing themselves with other people. You know, this guy, he's, he's posting, he's in a certain job title. He works for a certain multinational company. He drives an expensive vehicle. He lives in a good home. Let me tell you, my friends. All you know is the tip of the iceberg. You don't know how they got there. You don't know what they've have to do, what they've had to do to get to that point. And so comparing yourself with people you barely know, people you barely understand the process that they've taken to achieve what it is they have achieved, then you're losing yourself. And you know, I found that this is actually something that has been embedded in our society. Because listen, when you compare yourself with people, it can either bring up two things. Number one, unhealthy competition. Why do I say unhealthy? Unhealthy because you don't understand the foundation. You don't understand the basics of that competition. You're two different people doing different things. And so it's unhealthy competition. Number two, sometimes comparing yourself with others can lead to depression. You know, I have had people call me telling me, Hey, Dan Banner, you know, we were in high school with this guy. Look at him. Look at where he is now. You know, he's got his life all figured out. He's got this. He's got that. He's got that. You know, only later for things to start cropping up that these guys were in scandals here and there. Right, left and center. And so I'll tell you this. I was listening to Dr. Miles Monroe today. And he said something that is really important. And he said successful people don't compete with other people. They compete with themselves because success is achieving what you are created to do. You know, you cannot compete with somebody you don't even know how they started what they are doing. You don't have the fundamentals. You don't have the basics. And I'm telling you, sometimes in life you're doing good. You're in a nice place. You're in a healthy relationship. Your job is okay. The money you're making is good. But the fact that you keep comparing yourself with other people, that brings a problem. And so my friends, I'll tell you, you have to be very careful about that. Be careful about competition. Be careful about comparing yourself with other people. You know, in my culture, it says, you cannot build your house because somebody else has built. You cannot do something because somebody else has started doing it. Think about that, my friends. And don't forget that. Secondly, another very important thing that we must stop as soon as possible is that you cannot please everybody. My brothers, let me tell you, in this life, 
if you spend it trying to please everyone, it's impossible. And so you probably have a problem. You cannot please everybody. Some people will like you. Some people will hate you. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ himself came on this earth and he was hated. There are people who don't want to do anything with him. They don't want to hear him. They don't want to spend time with him. But Jesus Christ did not spend a lot of his time trying to please everybody. Trying to please the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Jews, the Romans, the Zazibana. And let me tell you, some of you live your life like that today. Trying to please everybody. And guess what happens? In the process of doing that, you lose yourself. You lose the most important resource in this whole equation, which is you. Because without you, then what makes sense? If you're not here today, what makes sense in your life? Nothing. And so you guys have to realize that you must take care of you. Stop hurting yourself to please others. Stop depriving yourself of necessary things that will help you grow and help you develop in a bid just to please others. You must take care of you before you take care of others. You know, the Bible also tells us, love your neighbor as you love yourself. What does that mean? You must have taken time and effort to love you, to take care of you, so that you can spend more time taking care of others. You know, some of you are destroying your own relationships back at home, trying to please other people outside. Some of you are depressed, taking prescription pills every day, trying to impress other people. Some of you are buried in loans, trying to impress other people. You're buried in debt. You're living a lie, trying to impress other people who really don't care. Let me tell you, people will just discuss you for three, four days. Hey, this guy bought a nice moti. Hey, this guy moved into a nice neighborhood. Hey, this guy's kids are in a serious school. Hey, this guy, Bana, he went to Dubai, he did this, he did that, he's been flying around the world. They'll just talk about you for a minute. And that's it. Waiting for your downfall. Are those the people you want to spend the rest of your life trying to please? No. And so I'll tell you, stop trying to please everybody. Because in the process of doing that, you're hurting the most important person, which is you. And when you are not in the right place, then you cannot be right for others. And so put that in mind, my friends. Another very important thing, the third one, is pride and ego. My friends, <laughs> this is something that bubbles in each and every one of us. Pride and ego. Pride and ego. Let me tell you, the Bible has talked vastly about pride. And one of the scriptures I know all of you know, it says that pride comes before a fall. Pride comes before a fall. Don't let your pride, don't let your ego destroy your life. Don't let your pride and ego destroy your relationships. Don't let your pride and ego destroy your family. Don't let your pride and ego destroy your businesses. You know, there's something the Bible also talks about, the spirit and the flesh. There's a video I've done on this. You can check it out. And the flesh normally is driven by such things. Pride, ego, selfishness, anger, greed, such manner of things. And I'll tell you, when your pride gets the better hold of you, then nothing else matters in your life but yourself. And so you must understand there's a difference about taking care of yourself and being selfish. Taking care of yourself and being proud. Confidence and being proud. There's a difference. You know, some of you confuse confidence for pride. In your heart of hearts, you know what pride is. I don't even have to explain. You know what pride is. You know what ego is. That voice that makes you think you're better than everybody else. You must check that, man. You must check that before it destroys you. Because pride, ego leads to greed, man. Selfishness. Individualism. These are the cancers that are killing our society today. This is why you can see someone going and embezzling funds that are meant for the public, for personal gain. 
and they feel nothing. This scandal that was here with Kemsa, masks that are meant for the normal Kenyan who's struggling day by day to make ends meet. And somebody decides to take them and sell them on the side and make billions for themselves. My friends, that is not what God created us to be. God created us to care for one another, to love for one another. And without that, then I wonder what kind of lives we are living. And so my friends, I'll tell you, those three things. Stop comparing yourself to others. Unnecessary competition. Causing you stress, causing you depression, causing you anxiety each and every day. You're buried in debt. Stop that. Stop trying to please everybody. You cannot do that. Jesus Christ was the most legit guy who walked on this earth. And that was none of his principles. In fact, he was doing the opposite. He was speaking the truth. And sometimes when you try to please people, that means you speak very little of the truth. So stop trying to please everybody. And thirdly, check your pride and ego, man. At what level is your pride and ego? Is it building you or destroying you? Your greed. Selfishness. Guys, we all need to check this out. So that we can be better human beings. Anyway, we'll leave it at that for this video. I hope that uh, those things we've talked about will sink in deep. Take this week to think about them and correct where you're going wrong. There's a gentleman who said, it doesn't matter how far you've gone in the wrong direction. It's important to always stand back and start heading to the right direction. And so if these things are things that are hampering you from becoming the person you are meant to be, address them. And so remember guys, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and share them with people you believe there'll be an impact to in their lives. Until next time, take care and God bless. Cheers guys.